In this section, we'll check SE Linux states, modes, and types, and see the importance of the config file. And we'll use some commands to demonstrate things. Now, when SE Linux is present on your system, it can be in one of two states, enabled or disabled. And for sure, when the state is enabled, it will be active, and when it's disabled, it will not be active. And when it's enabled, it can be in one of two modes, enforcing or permissive. This simply means that when it's enforcing, it will be actively allowing or denying access to the objects that it protects. And all its actions will be logged to var log audit audit.log. And when it's in permissive mode, it will still log to the audit log, but it will not block any actions. So this would be a mode that could help you to either troubleshoot some issues you might have without having to change to the disabled state, or maybe you want to make sure that there will not be any problems when you activate a newly configured machine. But keep in mind that your system is vulnerable when it's in permissive mode. So SE Linux should be enabled at all times, but you can switch between enforcing and permissive if you like. And this can be done on the fly, as we will see, using the set enforce command. And when SE Linux is disabled, it's simply disabled. So there's no mode to describe other than that it is disabled. And to change between the two states of disabled and enabled, you will have to reboot your system. So it's important to realize that when you disable it, all new files will not have a label. So if you enable it again, all these files will have to be labeled. So in short, it's simply not a good idea to disable SE Linux. And the file that configures all of this is the config file in Etsy SE Linux. Now let's first check that out before we talk about SE Linux types. So I'm logged in as root, and first I list the contents of the config file. And I see that at boot time, SE Linux will be set to enforcing. And we see the possible modes just above that. And again, we're going to have a look at these types in a second. Now to view the mode that SE Linux is in at this moment, we can use the get enforce command, and it will tell us that it's enforcing. And if we want to change that, we can use set enforce zero, and then it will become permissive on the fly. So we don't have to reboot for that. Now we saw that when the mode is set to enforcing, it will deny access if needed. But when it's set to permissive, it should only log, but not actually deny. So let's just set our web server port to 8888 once more and do a test on that. This new port is not a trusted port in the HTTPD domain, but our web server is allowed to bind to the new port, since our web server is up and running and it's using port 8888. And to see if there would have been any problems if the mode would have been enforcing, we can use the SE alert again to check any information about denials. And indeed, this port is not a port in the HTTPD domain, so we should either change it back to port 80 again, or we should change the policy so that it will be in the correct domain. And one way of doing that is by using SE manage, which will allow us to list current values and change them without having to recompile the policy. So we can manage ports, file context, modules, and more. For now, we'll just have a look at ports because we need to allow HTTPD to bind to port 8888 even when the enforcing mode is active. Let's first run se manage port l to list all current values. And that is an awful lot of information, so we need uh, to filter a bit. So we use grep to filter out all lines that start with HTTP to get the information we need. And it lists the ports that HTTPD is allowed to connect to. And our port is not in there yet. So we will add our port to the HTTP port type with protocol TCP. And that's it. So we check it again. And now 8888 belongs to the HTTP port type. So we should be fine. To test that, we'll switch back to enforcing by using set enforce. And then we restart HTTPD. So this looks OK. And Indeed, our new port is no longer denied. Now we had a look at states and modes, but what about these types? We don't have to spend too long on that. The thing is that most implementations use the targeted mode. There's a very small percentage of organizations that use the multi-level security type, which is very complex because next to context types, it also works with users and roles and levels. And when you start, there is no permission whatsoever. So everything has to be set up from scratch. And the minimum type is a stripped down version of the targeted type. And targeted simply means that only domains that are targeted by SE Linux will be subject to security checks. 
So in general, network-related services are targeted. So think of HTTPD, NAMD and some others. So again, we will concentrate on the targeted type because that is what you will most likely run into. By means of a summary, uh, I listed the commands that we used once more.